Every day as a senior is your last day of school. You will never get those days back ever again as a senior, unless you're a super senior. Prex Styles. Yo, what's up guys? Styles here, and today I have an Overwatch gameplay for you. You know, tons of people out there have been saying to me, Hey Styles, why don't you upload gameplays anymore? It's just been streams and little second snippets of videos and such and such. And I want to make a couple updates towards this channel and a couple updates for this video. I know this video might be way, way too long, but I'm actually going to try to speak for the 11 minutes of this gameplay. You know, people out, but people have been out there saying, yo, you have not uploaded for a while, which is a completely true, like an actual video of me speaking and commentating, commenting throughout the entire video because I've just been getting very lazy and commenting for like a couple seconds of the video. <coughs> Excuse me there. But anywho, here's a couple updates. Uh, October 20th. 2013 was the anniversary was well, the day I made my clan which was Prex and today is October 6th 2016 October 20th 2016 will be the three-year anniversary of the Prex clan I'm pretty sure I don't know what's gonna happen but I'm I have some people getting me some clips some clan members doing a lot of work hard-working effort clan members they're really trying right now to get some gameplay so we can put on the channel and then we can do that as like a three-year anniversary montage or something I might give something to I might give something special to the three year members who were in this clan for three years. And I of course I'll check how long you've been in the clan for because I can just look at the group details and see when you were invited and how long you were there. So I can just tell if you're telling the truth or not. I do remember who joined the clan and who didn't. I remember one point in Prex that we had over fifty members, which was just absolutely insane. I mean I'm always looking I'm always recruiting for more people to join the clan and such. But there's you know, there's a kind of like an issue. Some of them don't play the same games that we do. Or like I do, because a lot of them like to play Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which was like pretty one of the oldest games out there right now for PC, which is COD, Black Ops 2. And, you know, it's just very old. It's like about, what, four years old? It came out 2012, basically? Yeah, 2012 it came out, which is like four years old, basically. And it's, it's, it's not like bad, but it's really good, but no one really plays it anymore. It's just full of cheaters and shit. But anywho... You know, a lot of people still play that game and they want to be recruited for that game specifically. I don't have a problem. If you could be a leader for that specific game, you're able to recruit. But I have to I have to have trust in you. You can't just try to win my trust over. But basically, you know, I've just been through a lot of shit with this clan. And I've always stuck through this clan. I've, I remember one point in Black Ops 2, I had, it was a clan rival versus, it was UGL versus Prex. No, actually, let's not get to that yet. I remember a long time ago when I first started Prex, it was a clan that everybody wanted to join in. I swear on my life. Everybody really wanted to join the clan because we were so friendly. We were so nice. We always have fun. And then stuff happened. And then I started spawn trapping with the LMG. I became a noob. And then that's when everyone started to dislike the clan. And, you know, a lot of people hated it. And then a new clan arised, which was UGL, United Gaming Legion. You know, I don't really associate with them. Any, I don't even associate them. I used to associate with them. And I used to associate with AGR until I just stopped completely. And then UGL, we just kind of turned into rivals because we basically had beef with each other. And then UGL was a clan that everybody wanted to go to. And then our clan group had like over a thousand members. The Prex had over 50 members, which was a very small clan at the time. UGL kind of like died down because not a lot of people really play anymore from UGL. Maybe they play other games like Dota or CSGO, but I've never really seen them in Black Ops 2 anymore. I don't see them in any other games other than just Black Ops 2 from a long time ago. Prex, though, you do see them sometimes. You see us sometimes in Black Ops 2 lobbies, sometimes in CSGO lobbies. I ran into, over the course of three years, since I quit Call of Duty, well, since I quit Black Ops 2, I have ran, I came across a couple, like around maybe 20 to 30 people for over a three-year period in CSGO who claimed that they know me and that they know me from Black Ops 2, which is like, hey, man, what's up, man? You know, we added them, we associate, we talk, you know, everything went, woohoo, everything went okay. But uh, pretty much... It, it's just, over time, clans die. Like, I don't understand. Prex is not dying. It's just we don't really play the same game as we used to. We play other games and such. We play CSGO mostly. And maybe one day, maybe for the three-year anniversary, I want to do, like, a full lobby of just Prex only. We hop into, a, like, a Black Ops 2 lobby or the CSGO lobby. Whatever game you guys want, I'll stream it. Stream it live so you guys can watch it. And we just go back to the old spawn trapping days. I'll be more than happy to do that. So... Stay tuned for because uh, on the 20th, there's going to be a video release. I'm pretty sure a couple of days before the video is uploaded, we're going to actually work on it. Like, get it rendered, edit it, you know, watch it a couple times, get a people's opinions before we upload it. And then upload it and we go on from there because this is my last year, possibly, um, you know, in high this is my last year of high school. And every day, here's a quote for me. I'll actually say the quote in the beginning of the video so you guys can just... You know, but you know, you guys probably already heard the quote because I already said it in the beginning of the video, but let's, let's just start. Anyways, Prex is just becoming, it's just, 
a little bit, you know, it's not that big, but it's big in PC because mostly people, a lot of people know us from Black Ops 2. If you play Black Ops 2, you're going to know who I am. You're going to, oh, Styles. Sometimes CSGO, you, some people know who I am because I ran into a lot of lobbies against them and they don't like me. But it's okay, though, because I've just been going through all the hate. You know, a lot of people out there have been giving the clan a lot of hate like a long, long time ago, like around two years ago. Everyone used to hate me and the clan. And then we just eventually just who cared about the hate and the hate kind of died down and then people started respecting us again. We had a lot more people just joining the clan and you know the clan's been kind of rising and then my channel ended up starting it just exploded because i remember when i used to play black ops 2 i used to have over 500 subscribers and yeah 500 subscribers and then when i switched to csgo i jumped over to 2000 subscribers and then when i started multi-platforming like switching to a lot of other games and such i ended up getting 4000 subscribers and i at one point on this channel i had over 5000 subscribers and i lost a couple subscribers so i dropped down to 4.9k and recently i was streaming around two weeks ago there was a csgo update and the csgo update consisted of the new ak sounds the galil sounds and m4 sounds and a bunch of other bs updates so basically i was streaming that so people can just watch the video because if i up because i usually every time i upload a video of an update it gets over a thousand to two thousand views but this time i actually started to stream the video and uh, around a hundred people came to the stream and i did support they did support me so i thanked them all by giving them a couple sticker capsules and they went on their way um a lot of people said i was a very good youtuber i, I have a bunch of steam profile comments so you guys can go check that out too if you guys want um a lot of them commented saying you're a good youtuber we love you Rex. i was to be honest i was crying like a little girl because i've never had that much support on my channel a hundred viewers a hundred like live viewers just watching the stream the chat was just going crazy it was like a twitch chat basically it was like it was like an ESL Twitch that like a lot of people were messaging at the same time. It was just absolutely insane, and I did I did thank you guys all so much for all the support. It was just absolutely insane. I had so much fun, and but unfortunately I had to go because it was around ten o'clock at night. And I had school the next day, so I had to go, and then I ended up doing what I had to do there. And I just been having a freaking blast because it's just been absolutely insane. I was like, thank you guys so much for all your support. You guys mean the world to me, and I have not done anything like this before because YouTube is like my it's like my job basically but i don't get paid enough from youtube well i do get paid enough from youtube i just don't want to talk about how much i get paid because i don't want people to be like oh this kid has money but he doesn't want to blah 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 this blah 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 that you know so basically i don't really want to talk shit about anybody else because i just want to enjoy it i just want to have a friendly environment basically i stream if you guys want me to stream i'll start streaming it depends what game you guys i can stream overwatch for you guys or i can stream anything recently i started streaming on youtube because i noticed youtube gets you way more views because after a time like when your people are joining a stream back and forth and then the stream actually uploads your viewers actually stay there like your count like let's say 10 people came and watched the stream okay the stream finishes and then like more people with like subscribers they actually watch the video because they missed the stream and then that that view count goes up so if you have 10 people it will show us 10 viewers and then like 100 people watch the thing it will show up to 110 so this the video views does count and so does the live subscriber count thing live video view count so basically i just had so much fun doing youtube i've been playing this new game i've been really digging this new game called forza 3 horizon forza horizon 3 which is on the pc and xbox one i had so much fun and the thing that they did about this now is that you can actually um multi-platform basically so xbox one users can play against pc users oh let me tell you guys a story when i was in forza horizon 3 i played against a couple xbox users because i was in a lobby my first time and i and i said to my i said to them how do you guys mute this lobby how do you mute these people and they were like press select on your controller I'm like i don't have a controller and they're like what are you using i'm like i'm on a pc they're like how are you on a pc and then it was like did you did you not know this game is multi-platform? They were like, oh yeah, you're right. And then it was like, how are you enjoying your 4K, faggot? I was like, I'm, I'm loving my 90 FPS plus ultra settings. What are you enjoying at? And he's like, oh, we're stuck at 60 frames. I'm like, ah. But I don't think FPS really does matter. Like if you have like 60 to 90, whatever. It doesn't really, really matter on F on racing games because it just doesn't make any sense. You're racing. What are you racing? What is the point? You're not playing an FPS game like in Black Ops 2 when you had over 200 frames, you're going to shoot faster compared to when you had 30 frames, you're going to shoot slower. I came from a PC that had over 20 FPS in Call of Duties. My actual channel is based on like my old desktop in the living room and then my actual laptop, which is in my room. You know, it's just absolutely like I came from a PC to, from like 40 FPS to a PC with 60 FPS on medium settings and then to a PC with over 500 FPS on you know high ultra settings on csgo because csgo is a cpu based game and i have a i7 6700k which i'm going to upgrade very shortly to a i7 6800k and um you know i just been playing forza horizon 3 if you guys have forza horizon 3 for the x if there's any xbox 
users watching this video, comment your Xbox Gamer Tag down below. If there's any PC users with this game specifically, comment down your Xbox Gamer Tags. Now, as just a friend, we can play Forza 3 Horizon and we can just room, room, room across the sunset because that'd be absolutely insane. But you know. This video is coming very shortly to an end. This video is around 11 minutes long. I've been talking for about 10 minutes. A lot of, I don't know a lot of people out there missing my voice. Like, oh, I miss this Sprex Kids voice. It's so amazing. But for anywho, before we actually end this video, I want you guys to add my Snapchat down below. If you guys haven't, I'll leave it in the description and I'll leave it in the comment section. You guys can add me as a friend on Snapchat. We can talk more because most of the time I'm at school and I don't want to use all my data to reply to YouTube comments. I reply to YouTube comments when I'm at school during my computer lesson time because my computer the school's computer, internet is blocked off YouTube and all the other social medias so I'll, I'm on my phone because I get like the best service there so I look at my phone I reply to all the YouTube comments out there and my data gets used a lot so I have a very low limited data I have like around a gigabyte of plan because my phone bill is like around 30 bucks which is no I have two gigabytes of data and my phone bill is like around 25 dollars a month because i'm not really like a phone guy i'm not always on my phone and i decided to lower the the, the bill because it's to save me money and I can, i'm able to buy me like some food you know in case i run out of anything you know but yeah don't make fun of me because i have two gigabytes of plan i don't have unlimited i don't i don't spend a hundred dollars a month trying to keep data that i'm barely going to use all of it like for real what is the point of that we actually lost this game which is actually pretty sad which is my very first game in a couple days i did notice when i got on there was an overwatch update and my fps did increase before i used to get around 180 to 200 fps like on ultra settings now i get like around 200 to 300 fps when i was recording this video i was getting 200 fps but when i wasn't recording i was just getting 300 fps it was like locked it wasn't moving it was not 299 it was just 300, it just said 300 flat. I don't know what happened, but I guess when I record using action, my FPS just dropped. But when I'm recording using NVIDIA Shadowplay, my FPS does not drop. But I don't want to do NVIDIA Shadowplay because it's terrible. But I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Until next time, I am Prex Niles. You all have a wonderful day. Peace, the fudge, out.